In this video, we are going to see how to apply nodal analysis to a circuit which consists of dependent and independent sources both. So in this problem, we are having independent as well as dependent sources present. So we are having a two independent current sources, two independent voltage sources and one voltage controlled voltage source which is a dependent source and controlling voltage is a node voltage V1 only and we have to get node voltages V1 and V2 in the circuit. So we have marked node V1, V2, this entire thing is a V2 and a reference having a potential zero. Let's mark the current direction. As we discuss, we always give a priority to a current source maintaining its current direction as it is. And for remaining, we can give any random current direction. So let's give the current direction for the 20 ohm like this, for 5 ohm like this, for 2 ohm in this manner, and for 10 ohm also a downward. So all the current directions for branches are marked. Let's apply KCL at node 1. Three branches are meeting. Out of that one is the incoming current with a constant current source 2 ampere. So 2 on left hand side of equation. For this branch current, it is starting with a V1 ending on a reference and in the current direction the voltage is changing its polarity from plus to minus which is a voltage drop so minus 20 and the resistance in the branch is 20 ohm plus this is also outgoing started with a V1 ending on V2 and in the current direction there is one more voltage source though it is a dependent still we have to count plus to minus so it's a voltage drop hence minus its value is 0 0.5 v1 and the branch is having a resistance value so in the end we are getting an equation like this let's simplify so 2 equal to v1 divided by 20 minus 20 divided by 20 plus v1 divided by 5 minus v2 divided by 5 minus 0 0.5 v1 divided by 5. So after simplifying we will get a final equation as v1 the coefficient is 1 by 20 plus 1 by 5, 0.5 if I consider as half, so 1 by 2 multiply with this 1 by 5, in the end it will be minus 1 by 10 plus V2 coefficient is minus 1 by 5. And constant on this side was 2 already present. 20 by 20 is minus 1 over here will come on this side. So in the end, the total constant is 3. This is equation number 1. A simple equation I will get. Let's apply KCL at node 2. Here four branches are connected to this node. Out of that two are incoming. Out of that one is a constant current source of a four ampere. So four plus this is also incoming current. Already we have written the equation as V1 minus V2 minus 0 0.5 V1 divided by 5 and outgoing currents are v2 minus 0 divided by 2 plus v2 
minus zero in the current direction voltage is dropping so minus 40 divided by resistance is 10 so upon simplifying 4 plus v1 divided by 5 minus v2 divided by 5 minus 0.5 v1 divided by 5 equal to v2 by 2 plus v2 by 10 minus 40 by 10 so let's club all coefficient of v1 together so it's a 1 by 5 and already we have taken this as minus 1 by 10 so here also minus 1 by 10 plus v2 over here minus 1 by 5 these two terms come over here becomes minus 1 by 2 minus 1 by 10 here minus 40 by 10 is minus 4 this 4 will go that side so minus 4 minus 4 will become minus 8 as equation number 2 you are having two nodes so two equations are required we have got two equations after solving these two equations we will get v1 as 40 volt node 1 voltage as 40 and node 2 voltage will get as 15 volt this is the answer thank you